Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to find out the stresses in the soil layers. So we have to solve one numerical problem. And this problem states that calculate the total stress, effect to stress and the pore water pressure for the given soil layers. We have two soil layers, the sand layer and the clay layer. And we have to find out the stresses in these two layers. Also draw the stress distribution diagram and also we have to draw the stress distribution diagram for these two layers. There is a surcharge load acting on the top of these layers which is 20 kN per square meter. So this is an area load acting on the top of layers. The first is a sand layer which is a depth of 4 meter and has a unit weight of 19 kN per cubic meter. The second is a clay layer which is a unit weight of 18 kN per cubic meter and has a depth of 5 meter. And also there is a water table at the bottom of the sand layer or we can say at the top of the clay layer. There is a water table. So we have to find out the stresses. So let's suppose this section is 1 1. To find out the stresses we have to give the number at the different section. This is the 2 2 section where we have to find out the stresses and this is the 3-3 three, three section where we have to find out the stresses. So first we have to find out the stresses at the section 1-1. One, one. So let's this is 1-1. One, one. Now to find out the total stress, let re we represent the total stress by sigma and this is equal to the at point 1-1 one, one, the total stress acting is only the surcharge load of this material acting on the top of layers which is 20 kN per square meter. So the total stress at 1 1 is equal to the surcharge load which is 20 kN per square meter. This is the total stress. Now what will be the pore water pressure? The pore water pressure represented by mu it is a pressure created inside the in, inside in the water. So this pore water pressure at section 1 1 will be equal to zero because there is no water present here at this part. But the water table lays here at the bottom of the second layer which is below than this material. So that's why the pore water pressure at section 1 1 will be equal to zero. Similarly, the effective stress which is equal to the total stress minus pore water pressure. So total stress at point 1 1 is 20 minus 0 so we have 20 kN per square meter effective stress acting at the point 1 1 or section 1 1. Now we have to calculate the stresses at point 2 2. So this is now point 2 2 and we have to find out the stresses. So the total stress will be equal to the, the stress the surcharge load which is 20 and plus the same stress. So the same stress we can calculate the H1 multiply it with the gamma 1 which is the same layer unit weight. So 20 is the surcharge unit surcharge load and H1 is 4 meter multiply with the gamma unit weight of the same layer it is 19. So by adding and multiplying we got here 96 kilonewton per square meter. So this is the total stress acting at the section 2 2. Now what is the pore water pressure? The pore water pressure at section 2 2 here is again zero because there is no water present here at up to the bottom portion of the sand layer. The water table is in the top of the clay layer so we have to calculate the pore water pressure be below this 2 2 section. At this up to 2 2 section there is no water present so the pore water pressure will be equal to zero. Similarly, we have to calculate the effective stress. It is equal to the total stress minus pore water pressure. So total stress is 96 minus pore water pressure is 0 8.22. So it is equal to 96 kilonewton per square meter. This is 8.22. Now we have to calculate the stresses at point 33. So at point 33, at the bottom of the clay layer, we have to find out the total stress first which is equal to the, the total load acting on this 20 plus the 
load of this same layer which we found out before 4 multiplied by 19 or h1 multiplied by gamma 1 we can call n then at point 3, 3 we have also clay layer so it will be h2 multiplied with the gamma 2 this is the way how to find out the total stress so 20 plus this and plus this so 20 plus h1 is 4 h2 is 5 so 4 into gamma 1 is 19 gamma 2 is 18 so by adding all these values we get total stress of 186 kilonewton per square meter acting at the bottom of this clay layer head at the 3 3 section now pore water pressure will be included in this case why because the water table here is ejecting at the top of the clay layer so for to find out the pore water pressure at point 33 so it will be equal to the height this depth of this layer and the unit weight of the water which will be gamma w unit weight of the water multiplying with the height h2 because there is no water present above the 2 2 so we don't have to consider h1 so gamma w the unit weight of the water is 10 kN per cubic meter this we know this is a known factor multiply with h2 which is 5 it comes out to be 50 kN per square meter now how to find out the factor stress in the similar way it is equal to the total stress minus the pore water pressure so this total stress is 186 minus 50 which comes out to be 136 kilonewton per square meter. So this is the effect to stress at section 33. Now to draw the stress distribution diagram, so here will be the total stress, here will be the pore water pressure, and let's suppose here is effect to stress. And also we have to draw there reference lines for all these stresses. This distance is 4 meter and this is 5 meter. So now to start with the total stress, the total stress at this point at the zero distance is 20 kN per meter square. So we have to move this line up to the 20 kN per square meter. Because at the top there is a surcharge load of 20 kN per square meter. Then at the section 2 to here at the 4 meter distance, at the 4 meter distance there is a total stress of the section 2 to the total stress is 96 so we have to bring it here 96 kilonewton per square meter then at the distance of at the to, at the bottom of the clay layer here at 9 meter distance from the top here the total stress at the section 3 3 is 186 so here it will be 1 86 kilonewton per square meter so this is the stress distribution diagram the total stress distribution diagram for these soil layers now similarly the pore water pressure we can we know that at the top there is no water table so at 1 1 it is 0 at the 2 2 it is also 0 so here it is 0 here it is also 0 while here at the th third 3 3 section it is equal to the 50 so here it is equal to the 50 kilonewton per square meter so this is a stress distribution diagram for the pore water pressure now for the effect of stress at the section 1 1 it is equal to the 20 similarly to the is the total stress so it is 20 here kilonewton per square meter and then at section 2 2 it is 96 so here is 96 kilonewton per square meter and at the section 3 3 the effective stress becomes 136 so we can here draw it like this 136 and kilonewton per square meter so this is the stress distribution diagram for the effective stress Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.